Hey, you parents uh, know that raising kids is expensive, and now he knows that, <laughs> too, by the way. Michael Mazaran, our good friend from the Retirement Education Foundation, a new parent. Congratulations. Yes. Yes. Thank you so much. Congratulations. I appreciate that. Congratulations. Give it us a quick baby update. Quick baby update. So Berkeley, our daughter, is almost one month old now. Uh, she is sleeping great. Berkeley's great. Uh, my wife is doing great. It's been a whirlwind, a lot of fun, but a lot of craziness at the yeah. same time. That's amazing. The days are long, but the years are short. Absolutely. Enjoy it. I, can't, I mean, we've blinked and a month has gone by already. It's <laughs> unbelievable. That's awesome. So uh, you know now, having a child, it brings so much, uh, so many emotions, so much stress. Your everything changes mm -hmm. uh, physically, emotionally, but at the same time, you do have to think about financially how your life has changed, right? For how soon sure. do you start doing that? So ideally, start planning ahead of time because there are some costs up front. You know, there's there's hospital costs. Now there's some health insurance costs. Now there's doctor's visits, and diapers, and formula, and all the fun stuff. So ideally, preparing before the baby gets here, but mm. certainly now that the baby is here, making sure that we're on the right track to start thinking about this all properly going forward. About on average, how much does it cost uh, a, a two-parent family to raise one kid? I said somewhere around 20 some thousand dollars. So from birth until 18, the rough numbers, and there's a lot of different studies that, that kind of take a swing at these numbers, are about 225 to $250,000 from birth until 18. Right. Okay. Now there are a ton of different factors sure. there. Where you live in the country, what lifestyle you and the children have, there's mm. a lot of factors, but it's expensive and it needs some planning. So are we talking about um, the basics, which is housing, food, and then you get into childcare, and then you get into college stuff. So let's start or start with the basics when it comes to housing and food. That's part of your daily budget that mm -hmm. you're looking at. Exactly. And so for, for housing and food, with another member of the family, you might need to move into a different home. You, know, mm -hmm. you might need more space. And with food, it, that might not be a, a huge issue early on, but over time, we'll need to be buying more food for more kids in the house. So those two things can add into your your bottom line fixed expenses, which can really eat into how much do we have left extra to do other things. Yeah, and sometimes. Sometimes those, if it's the specialty formula you need, or even the cost of diaper, I mean, some of those things can be surprisingly expensive. They mm -hmm. add up quickly. Yeah, it's, when we were getting all the gifts from family, the baby shower and everything, I was thinking, there's no way we'll go through all these diapers, and we are going through I know, through them. right? Isn't that something? Yeah. We are going through them. Yeah. You know, before I was a parent, I don't think it ever hit me how much childcare actually costs. Mm. Um, and after I quickly became a parent, I realized that my child care bill was more than my mortgage. For a lot of people, that mm -hmm. is the case. For a lot of people, they're going to spend more on child care on a monthly and annual basis than a mortgage for the first several years of the child's life. <laughs> child care is one of those really tough problems. It was like an, a, a hidden cost that I don't necessarily or know you don't pay I attention for. to yeah you just don't pay yeah you didn't pay attention to it now you the government helps you with this a little bit mm -hmm. if so you have uh, there are tax credits for child care there are there are child tax credits and it's definitely something that you should be working with the tax professional on if you have a child and you're not quite sure how to file those to, for the tax credits properly because there is some help but there's no getting around it to find you know reliable safe child care that you feel comfortable with it is expensive mm. yeah and, and then you know the, the kids don't need all that extra child I don't care anymore. You're like, did I get another job somewhere? Because you have a little bit more won money. The lottery. <laughs> I won the lottery. And that's when we can start saving that money that we're not used to into savings accounts, either for ourselves or for the kids. How important is that aspect of it at such a young age? So saving for college is very personal per person. Everyone has a different opinion on saving for their child's college. Um, one thing, one mistake that we see is that people will reduce their own retirement savings, threaten their own retirement savings to help save for their children's college, which mm. is very generous and admirable because they want to put their, they want to get their kids off on the right foot with as, as little debt as possible. Very, very generous. But if you're harming yourself and your own future to try to get your kids off on the right foot, but mm. you might be dependent on them down the road, which is not fun for anybody. Mm. Mm. So you, how do you know, well, I, I suppose like you say, it depends on where you are in life and what your plan is. If you're not saving for college per se, is there, I mean, how soon can you open up 
some kind of other savings account for the child. Well, you can open up a 529, which is one of the more common college savings accounts. Uh, as soon as you get the, the Social Security number, which I, within, I think, three hours of me getting yeah. my daughter's Social Security number, I had the account open. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, I love that. But you can also save into just a, a, an account in their name that you have control of until they're 18 or 21, depending on the state, which is another way you can help them save for future expenses. Lots of great information at your website, Michael. Give it for the people. So refedu.org. We shorten it for you. Yes, guys. I love it. <laughs> refedu.org. Thank you so much. Find Michael Bear.